Welcome to the car guys. Well, it's minus four degrees. <laughs> <laughs> so naturally, the car we've got for you this week is the 458 Speciale Aperta. After promising that we would do it at 10,000 subscribers, we are finally driving the 458 Aperta. It's time to take this 600 brake horsepower limited edition Ferrari out for a thrash. How cold is it? It's very, very cold. Nice. So this beautiful 458 Speciale Aperta, I bought it new from the factory, it was 2015. Uh, so it's just had its first MOT and uh, it's getting on a bit now. Did it pass? It did pass, it did pass its <laughs> MOT. It's very, very yellow, this car. It's exceptionally yellow. Yeah, Giallo Triple Strato, it's a three layer paint. It's got a bit of gold in it, I think. Costs an absolute fortune, but it is the launch color for this model. Uh, and the blue stripe in the middle is, oh, isn't it though? Just sets off the yellow. I think it really sets off the yellow. Do you know what that is? That's the NART stripe. NART? Yeah. Is that the name of the colour? or no, is that... that stands for North American Racing Team. Does it? Yep. Wow. Exactly. Every day's a school day. I mean, look at that. Look at the way that the stripe, obviously it goes over the whole car, comes over that roof Beautiful. tip, and then fans out. This is my favourite bit. This is literally my favourite bit of the whole car is the way that that stripe just pulls out. And because the white gets wider as well as you come down to this and the whole thing fans out. I mean, there's no getting away from it. That is a very large diffuser, isn't it? And look at the fins as well. And you can see here, this is the DRS. You see the yellow panel? So that is the DRS drag reduction system. Yep. So when you go over a certain speed, that whole yellow section there drops down, allows the airflow to run through the whole car. I tried to stick to as close to the launch spec as possible, which means there's lots of gloss carbon uh, around the outside of the car. You've got the triple layer paint, you've got the NART stripe. Obviously enormous carbon ceramics on this car, but the blue brake calipers really set it off with the, the yellow inserts. Inside we've got the special yellow technical cloth seats which are unique to this car. You've also got the center console has the LaFerrari uh, center yep. unit in carbon which looks absolutely stunning. It's a bit more stripped out than the 458 Italia as befits its racing pedigree. You can see that the carbon is all around the driver's area mainly and the center console and the kick plates as well. Uh, no mats, nice and simple and racing in here. It's a limited edition Ferrari, so there's only 499. I was actually allowed to buy it, which was a real privilege. I spec'd it and collected it from Ferrari directly, the factory, and drove it all the way home. And it's now done 4,800 miles. <gasps> wow. Here we go. Here we are then. Aperta? Yeah, open. Well, why is it shut? That's a good point, isn't it? Hang on a minute, I need to put my hood up. I'm ready. Ooh, look at that. There you go, how Beautiful. about that? <laughs> Ferrari 458 Speciale Aperta. Aperta, of course, meaning Open. Open. This is the ultimate version of the ultimate version. So I've been looking forward to doing this video. I absolutely adore this car. I adore this car too. You've got three million miles worth of headroom. You get to hear the engine. I mean, this, you couldn't be better, could it? Be better. How do you make the best Ferrari, the best modern Ferrari ever made better? Oh, I know. It's a lot tighter, it's a lot tauter. It just feels a bit meaner. It's at least 25% more of everything than the 458. This makes the 458 feel like a touring GT car. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, the steering on the 458, lovely steering. This is better. It's just more dialed in, it's more responsive. The damping on the 458 is lovely. Very nice, very easy to combine on the road. This, better. The 458 looks great. But this, it's got those additional oh, so fins and holes and yeah, vents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I think I'll feel the same way about 
the pista as I will about this. Every little detail on this car was something that I picked out. I spent a long time deciding whether I was going to go for black Alcantara. In the end I wanted to go with a blue just to match the Nart stripe. I spent ages thinking about stitching. Was it going to be white stitching? Was I going to go for blue Scuro so you don't see it? Or should I pick out the yellow? I mean it was, it was a long process. It took you 20 minutes on the configurator, don't lie. <laughs> no, it didn't. Don't, tell, don't get people thinking that you actually thought about this. I did think about you went, this. there's a launch spec, I'll have some of that. <laughs> Still got the best performance engine badges at the back, even though they missed a couple of years. <laughs> exactly, won't so mention those. Won't mention those. All of the, the V8 race cars, I love the fact that all the doors are, are all carbon fibre. Yeah. No car mats, just nice and be as bare as possible in no here. No fire extinguisher in here though. No, I didn't take that option. No. Too much. Too much? I think so. Because it's so limited, I was probably never going to track it, I think was probably where I was thinking there. Do you fancy a little bit of, um, bit of noise? Let's have some noise. That is why you buy one of these. <laughs> That's why you buy it. Just that. A burter. That, this, this, that. This, that, this. It does highlight a particular issue actually, coming out onto a junction like that. I mean, I know I do mention it perhaps a little bit too much on the 458. Oh, right. Here we go. Can you guess what it is? Is it indicators? It is indicators. But you notice there, we joined the carriageway. You've got all that lovely noise blaring. Everything in the world is fantastic. Yep and the indicator just kept on it didn't cancel when we came on here so you have to and because it's so quiet you don't even notice it's on because of the line of the steering wheel and the slight flatness of the steering wheel and the cowling you can't really see the indicator lights so it's very easy to leave it on and look like an utter knob like a drive down a road like a burke yeah. yeah but it does give me the opportunity to point out what appears to be two buttocks i'm not entirely sure why there are two buttons. I'm, I'm assuming they're for people's knees. What, in case you have an accident? Maybe, or in case you've got very long legs. This centre console you can't have in anything other than horrible black plastic. Yeah. That's a bit annoying, even in something this special. What I love, mm. so you've got, you got these big wing mirrors in yellow. Yeah. But you can just see the hint of the Nart stripe on the bonnet. Oh, yeah. And then behind in the rear view mirror, you can just see the hump of the Nart stripe going back to the little tail. So sexy. It's unbelievable. Lovely. You've also got, you notice this little little back window here. Oh, yeah. So that when, back window there. Yeah, that one, those rosary bleeds. <laughs> those bleeds. When, you, when you've got the roof up, you can press a button and drop down that little window Ooh. so you still get all of the noise but you're nice and toasty inside. Ooh. A underpass action. Loving your work. I mean we're in race mode at the moment. Are we? So your changes are a little bit more savage. The transmission is a little bit jerky sometimes, particularly coming down the box you do sometimes get quite a jerk when you come down the gears. When you're driving around in traffic, you know, low speed traffic, a it's a lot more jerky than you think. For the benefit of the viewers at home, we are currently negotiating a series of speed humps. And I think you're very brave by running the speed humps right down the middle of the car. Well, even though I've got the lifter up. Yeah, but... Shall I do that then? Is that better? That, that makes me feel a bit... Is that better? Yeah. Are you just expecting a... Hey! Yeah. <laughs> This is considerably more powerful than the 458, so we are so, just shy of 600 brake oh, okay. horsepower. What's that not to 60 time though? So 458, depending on whether it's running or not, or how loose it is, probably talking anywhere between 3.2, 3.4 seconds. Right. This, three seconds dead. Oh, okay, so this is 488 territory then? Yeah. 0.4 of a second makes a huge amount of difference. Of course it does, it makes all the difference. Yeah, when you're in the pub. It's the difference between first and fourth. Fancy bit of uh, tunnel action. Oh yeah, let's have that. So Michael Schumacher, he told Ferrari that you had to be able to have the race mode, but with the comfort suspension. Oh, so you can split the two. All of the noise and aggression and gear change ferocity of race mode, but just a bit more compliant bit for- compliant the old suspension. Yeah. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Michael. This car's running on, it's not just springs and dampers, is it? No. No. 
Space Age technology. In space Age technology. Magna Helo, hydraulical, epistemological, Numkul Bukajul Fatumshk. Oh, yeah. Magnetor Heological Dampers. So, what does that mean? They're magnetic. They use iron filings to make them stiff and soft at a thousand times a second. Or, I have no idea if that's actually true. So, don't have a go at me if it's not. Oh, so Damien's just pulled up on the uh, centre console. You can, it tells you when things are warm, so you can go on your track. What does it currently say for the tyres, David? It's currently saying they're very cold. And how long have we been driving for? About 20 minutes. <laughs> it tells us that the suspension is hot, the engine is hot, the everything tires are, are very cold, very and therefore cold. it is not giving us go for race mode. <laughs> I don't think we're going to use maximum acceleration I don't today. Think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a very good idea at all. You can't help but love the noise. That's where the oh, 488 so really good. does fall down because the noise that this yellow device makes is ungodly. But it's all of the noises though. It's not just the screaming, bellowing banshee from Val Valkyrie scream that's going on at high revs. It's the low down four, like, oh, as it comes oh, yeah. onto, oh, yeah. it's just so good. It goes rumble, rumble, Thor, deep rumble. <laughs> then it gets to the mid range. <laughs> then it starts singing. <laughs> it's just oh, glorious. You get the shift lights on the steering wheel for that drama. You get that noise. You get the big chunky gear engaging. Oh, get in there. This is what your turbos can't hope to match. And the Pista, as good as I'm sure it will be, cannot get anywhere near this. And that's why these cars still, even three years later, still command a significant premium. They're still three times over list, these cars. Are they? Even now. Wow. There was a moment where I was offered, wait for it, no. a million pounds. A million pounds? For this car. Then why have you still got it, you numpty? Because, A, I'm stupid. <laughs> B, I don't yeah, like yeah. car flippers. Car flippers are one step below people who sit in the middle lane on motorways. Oh my god. Out of all of the cars in the collection, this is my second favourite. Is it? Why don't you tell them? Why don't you tell the the folks at home what your favourite is? Do you think they already know? I think, already I think you already know, know, don't you? We don't even have to mention it. In fact, just shout it for yourselves now. <laughs> As part of the consumer department of the car guys, well, you know that I like to I like efficiencies, making sure that we're keeping the planet healthy. 29 miles to the gallon. 29? Shut up. No way this thing does 29 miles to the gallon. Well, not when I'm driving it, obviously, but 12. in theory you could do. Be careful, it's very damp. to that, it's like a whip crack. Oh. Do you hear the little squeak there on the upshift? Yeah, on the gearbox? The was that my bottom? No, it wasn't, it wasn't. <laughs> or maybe it was. <laughs> now, all 458s, when you're accelerating hard and then you change up, they all squeak. Oh. No idea why. Bit of overrun there. 600 brake horsepower. On Six a cold hundred roads with mean, freezing cold tyres. Yep. And fuel level low as well. Same old rubbish controls 458. You know, you still got your horrible things, which horrible. if you watch our 458 versus 488 video, you'll uh, you'll see 
quite a lot of information about that. And I think if I'm being honest, you do get a slight bit of wheel wobble, just a slight of, uh, what do they call it? When you take the roof off the car? Oh, scuttle, scuttle shake. Scuttle shake, the very, just a really? slight hint of scuttle shake that you get on this. Ready? Yeah, go. Tramp. Right, now I've got to remember how to drive a Ferrari. Oh God, I love this car. Oh, I love this car. This is, I think, the best modern Ferrari in existence that's ever been made. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's got that perfect blend of the handling, the noise, the exclusivity, the looks. Oh. It's just got everything. And it's wiggly as well. That's the other thing I like about it. It's a wiggly car. Don't make it wiggly. I'm not going to make it too wiggly. No death, no death today. You can feel it moving around. It's not like it's goading you. It's not like a TDF which is saying, oh no, honestly, I'll behave myself. I won't kill you and actually will kill you. Whoa! This is a bit like, don't worry, it's a safe pair of hands. Just don't do anything too silly. Oh, I see what you mean about looking out the rear view, seeing that lovely blue knot across the back. Isn't it amazing? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> the other thing is you don't really need a lot of throttle, do you? Not really. It's very, very light. <laughs> it's very light. How do I keep getting into this situation where I let you drive my car? <laughs> I never learn. Because you're mental. I never learn. You always forget. It's we like... always get to the end of these videos with me just absolutely terrified. Oh my good god. Oh my god. Sit toe round the corner. I would say that was part throttle, but that's less than part throttle. Yeah. I mean, that is ridiculous. I mean, really, we're just creating a series of videos of me looking terrified. <laughs> and me giggling yeah. manically. Yeah. Right, so we're coming up to a lovely little corner here. We are. A little one, two, three. Down into second, break into the corner, a little bit of throttle on the way out. Off camber. Oh no! Over the hump. It's very well behaved. Yeah, and it does have a lot of electronic aids to sort of keep you out of trouble. Oh trip. yeah, there's loads of lights flashing in front of me. <laughs> Why don't you try it in sport mode now, with, with the comfort still on, and just compare, so that's the little Manatino, so you flick oh, yeah. between that, flick that down. wet, yeah. sport, race, and then you've got traction control off, and then all systems off. So do we and have to push this? Do we have to push the button net again yeah. now that we've gone down? Yeah. Well, that's, why doesn't it not remember? It's a bit annoying. I'd want it to remember. Then you would probably complain that it leaves the suspension on when you didn't want the suspension on. So. Oh yeah, just... obviously I would. Yeah, I would find something to complain about. Clearly. Yeah. Right. So this is in sport. Well, this is normal comfort mode with the uh, bumpy road setting. With the on. bumpy road setting. So this is a, a bit more of your touring mode, basically. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's much more comfortable. Gear change is not as ferocious. No. A little bit takes a little bit more care of you, I think. So only 499 of these were, were made. Right. Okay. Allegedly. Alleg oh, oh, hello. Well, they're not individually. But numbers. why 499? What's the relevance? Why not 500? Because Enzo Ferrari always said build one less than you can sell. Did he? He did. Part of the ownership joy of this car is knowing that there's only 498 other people yeah. around who've got them. It's that much more limited. It's more special when people see it. There's a bit more of a gasp of in, you know, intake of breath. This is you know one of those special halo cars. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's not as dramatic as your LaFerrari or your Enzo or your 599 GTO. So it, you know, but in, in its own special way, this is. This yeah, is this a, is king this of the V8. You get so much more of the experience with the roof off. You do. Just so you really, you really every do. Every little click and noise. whir. Yeah, exactly. You can hear the fuel pumps. You can hear everything just going you can on hear in the background. All the stones in the arches <laughs> as well. It's a bit terrifying. <laughs> I love that. That's my favourite noise. 
<laughs> That's my favourite noise. That yeah, little wah, wah. Little yeah, that wah. wah. Yeah. Nice. No. There really isn't a lot of understeer with this car. The steering, you don't need a lot of movement, so there's not many turns lock to lock, so it's quite pointy. And it does inspire you to, not to push on, but you're not frightened of it. What do you think of the brakes? Well, we haven't really had an opportunity to stand on them quite very hard today, have we? Because we're not being really going quick enough, but my experience of the brakes driving it before are that they are supreme. So what do we like about this car? Um, everything. Everything. <clears throat> well, what do we don't like? That would be a much smaller list. What do we do not like about this car? All right, the throttle's just too light for me. It's better than the other 458, especially when you're trying to do delicate maneuvering around town, just popping in and out of these villages. Yeah. You get too much of that. Maybe the transmission shunts, that's yeah, that's low quite speed annoying. is a little bit annoying. I found the other annoying thing. I Even couldn't cool. figure out how to turn the radio off. I literally, out. I was ah. literally just pushing <laughs> buttons. Shut up! But I mean, what to love? Well, looks, oh. noise, oh. performance, oh. handling, oh. balance, just the lot, isn't it? Interior, oh. exterior. Oh. I mean, it really is worth every single penny. Even if it was a million pounds, still be worth every single penny. So that's it, the 458 Speciale Aperta. Driven. Driven. Reviewed. Enjoyed. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this run in the 458 Speciale Aperta. I, we're going to go inside now and find ourselves a radiator to put our hands on because, my God, that was cold. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Please leave comments. Ding the notification bell for the next time we've got a video uploaded. And we'll see you on the next one.